Meanwhile, baseball owners and players continue to try and hammer out an agreement. Earlier today, I talked to Tigers pitcher Matthew Boyd. All right, Matt, you were in spring training getting ready for the start of the season. Boom, this pandemic hits and the world sports world shuts down. How much have you missed baseball? Oh, man, I miss it a ton. Uh, luckily, we were fortunate enough to come down to the stadium and get to go uh, hang out there today and uh, get our work in um, in a much different capacity than we have in the past. But um, we miss it. Can't wait to get it back. Can't wait to get out there and go compete, you know, uh, in what's going to be a shortened season. Um, and regardless of whatever capacity it looks like, it kind of opens up that anybody can win it. Anybody can get hot for a short amount of time. So uh, we're excited for it. You know, talking to the guys, we can't wait to get back out there and represent the city and state of Michigan, the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan. Hockey's about to announce it's coming back. I know the players and the owners have got to come to an agreement before baseball resumes. What gives you confidence that that'll happen? Man, we're, 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 we want the same thing, and that's to bring the game of baseball back um, to the country as soon as we can in a safe way. The differences that we do have, I know, can be settled, and uh, I know that over these next few days, we're, we're, we're going to be working hard to get those, uh, make it a win for everybody. It's, it's going to be cool to get baseball back. I know Blake Snell made a, head, a lot of headlines with what he said about not wanting to play for less. Are you behind him, or does that just make you kind of roll your eyes in frustration a little for not reading the room? Well, in the grand scheme of things, we got to be sympathetic to there's a lot of other people out there that are struggling much worse than the baseball community is. And there, there are people in the baseball community struggling as well. But um, there's life and death situations across our country and the world right now. And, um, you know, we as players and donors have to keep that in mind as we are going forward. Blake brought up some good points. The presentation of the points probably wasn't the best way to do it. We just all want the game of baseball back and to share it with the fans. You know, baseball's stood the test of time. You know, it was there, you know, in the 40s, you know, during the war. It was there 2001 during 9-11. Um, and, uh, you know, baseball is something that's, that, that is kind of the glue of our nation, right? It's, it's timeless. It's our pastime. So um, it, it, it links generations. It links families. Uh, it, it links the nation, right? And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's bigger than all of us. So we want to get it back. We want to do it in the right way. And, uh, you know, we're all counting the days until it happens. Last thing, Matt, you take a close look at this rebuild of this franchise, and a lot of it's about the arms that are coming up through the minor leagues. Most appear to be a year or two away from cracking the rotation. You'll be an unrestricted free agent in two years. Do you see yourself, do you want to continue wearing that English D beyond 2022? I try to focus on what's my business um, and what's other people's business and God's business. You know, th those aren't my business, right? <laughs> um, focus in two years from now, that's God's business. That's not mine. I'm not going to try to play God in that sense. And uh, would it be an honor to, to wear an old English D for many years past, you know, whatever is, is given, whether it's one day or two years? Um, yes, I would love it. You know, I'm sitting out front in our here home in Detroit, and I, I, I absolutely love it. You know, we came here. Other people went home. We came here because we love it here. Um, this, this is home to us. It would be an honor to, to wear the old English D um, for many years to come.